Hey there, Pisces. Welcome. This is your February 2024 reading. And before I begin, I just want you to know that I have a surprise coming. On Saturday, early afternoon, uh, look for my posting. I have a surprise posting of surprise. Um, yeah, something surprising coming up. Okay, let's see here. What's going on for Pisces? We have here. This is... The Nine of Coins. Independence. Single energy. Are you newly single? Or um, are you doing something on your own? Branching out on your own? Doing something independently here? This is the Minor Arcana of Empress. So this means money. Okay. And we have it here with the Eight of Cups. You might be walking away. Now this, is, could, now this could be many different things. You could be walking away from money here opportunity here or something that gave you money or gave you but you also could be walking away in order to find your independence we have here the seven coins but you might be um on the fence about what to do you might be really thinking things over uh, this could be also walking away from a job in order to maybe start your own business Walking away from a connection, a commitment in order to do something on your own, be single and available. Let's see. Why do we have the nine coins here? Why the nine coins here? We have here. Yeah, seven of pentacles again. Yeah, you know, I'm putting on this card here. This could also be harvesting. So you might be harvesting quite a bit of money here by walking away from something. Let's see here about this eight of cups we have here the ten of pentacles oh yeah looks like you're coming into a significant amount of money could be a commitment you could be walking away from commitment walking away from something in order to come into a lot of money eight of wands something's gonna move quickly here too expect fast movement fast communication or you could be extremely busy so it could be that all of a sudden you're doing something new and maybe you left the company that you're working for, started something on your own and you're getting a lot of orders or something's happening where things are taking off for you. Bravo. Let's see what else we have here for Pisces. We have here the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Happiness. Yay. And we have here the Five of Swords. Okay, this might be someone wanting to fight with you about something here. And the five of uh, coins. Okay, it looks like you're walking away from something to go to your happiness. But there's other people, that are, other person or other people not happy about this because you left them. So this could be the job you work for. You left them and you started your own business and they're not happy about it. Or it could be um, people, it could be family. You could have you uh, said, you know what, I'm, not, I'm leaving the family business. I'm doing my own thing. And you're being like, quite successful, which is really pissing them off too. You have two fives here. Fives are definitely changes. The fool, yes, see? You're very happy on whatever you're doing here on your own. Taking that leap of faith. And then we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And then we have here the Eight of Cups. Yes, someone else might be walking away and coming towards you. So if this is, um, someone else might be leaving a, a connection to come towards you to offer their... Um, love to you or this could be someone saying okay I'm leaving the company too uh, can you do you need another hand can I you know can I join your your company here let's see we have here oh we have the key here's the key here's knowledge it's information access this could be someone that has a lot of knowledge someone coming towards you with something offering you something here Let's see about this Knight of Pentacles. We have eventually, present, future. Ooh. Eventually someone feels like in the present there could be a future together. All right. I like it. Let's see what else we have for you. What else is coming in in February for Pisces? Let's see. I think I'll go way over here. Okay, so we have here the four coins. 
either you're keeping things to yourself in the present or someone's holding back. And then we have here, this is the tower, surprise. Aries Scorpio energy, something unexpected happening. And it's eight of swords, someone feels stuck, someone feels trapped. Yeah, so you might have you might have kept what you're doing here to yourself. And then once you, you know, let people know what you're doing, surprise them with the tower. Um, someone feels stuck in their head, unable to do anything here. Not sure what to do. Okay, let's see about the four coins, four of pentacles. We have the chariot. This you might have did this very quickly here. Maybe that was the best way to do a cancer energy. Something very fast movement here. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. You might have broke away from not having to even give and take. Say if you're working for a company, you were doing all the work and they were taking all the money. Well, that's done. Let's see. We're in a relationship. You broke away from a relationship where you were given, they were um, they were receiving, they weren't given. Here's a Four of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone feels trapped. They don't know how to contact you or they don't know what to do about this a missed opportunity stuck in their head about it so yeah whoever you left whether it was a business or a person this person doesn't know what to do they missed out on a very good opportunity with you they didn't treat you right then you know you don't treat someone right they're gone that's not playing anymore that song's over let's see we have here the happy squirrel cheat is weird this is an extra card that you don't really you know most people don't expect to put it in the deck by putting the deck it came up three times already so this is to me this is um when i get out of the squirrels when i think about them how they you know harvest time is you know when the acorns every two years i guess the oaks have acorns and um when they drop the squirrels go crazy and they start hiding them all over the place and then they forget where they hide them and but you do have a happy so this feels almost like harvest time to me that um here we have the happy squirrel running around gathering all the acorns gathering everything you can here and the, then we have here this is the three of coins and it feels like there's a lot of people that would like to work with you whatever you're doing here this could be a partnership in love this could be business because you are very prosperous money's coming in there's commitment coming in there's money coming in financial stability here let's get something more on the happy squirrel we have here three of wands something that you've been waiting for has come in your ships are coming in here all the acorns are coming in abundance abundant crop here and then we have the eight of pentacles this has to do with your work People want to work with you. People want to team up with you. They see that you're very financially successful in what you're doing here. Or, or it could be a relationship with someone who wants to work with you, work together with you. We have here the strength. This could be strength and commitment, strength and family, strength in your finances. Okay, what else do we have here for you guys? Just blowing right through this reading. It's just like the energy is coming in like this is what it's all about, boy. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Aries, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. A very fast energy here. Compulsive and uh, imp compulsive. Impulsive, I want to say, but maybe compulsive makes sense. Page of wands. Okay, so here we have someone wanting to reach out to you, talk to you. Again, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And it's about moving on, moving away. Relocating. Six of Swords. Okay, oh now you're not seeing this in here. Okay. Maybe I will have to put this back down there. I don't know what. Can I squeeze these over a little bit? These the bottom cards are so big. So let's see. Get them in here. Enough in here. That'll be alright. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, I, I was making a roll at the bottom. Then you don't see everything on the bottom either. The cards are just too big. Okay. So, I might do another row anyway. Okay, so let's see here. We have here the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get a charm on that. Parrot, talking. So this could be people talking about you, people repeating things. Um, this also could be some kind of communication from someone. It also could uh, represent 
A spirit communication. Mm -hmm. Let me get one on this. King, no, page of wands. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. Dinosaur to me is always past life. Going way back. So you might have had this knight of wands that's coming in here. You might have had a past life or past life with this person. Okay. And we have there six of swords. So this is moving away from bad times, something better. Um, someone might be coming towards you. Someone's seeing you as a something better, wanting to come in and reconnect with you. Someone from the past. Let's see. Who is this person from the past? Let's get a clarify on this. The Five of Cups. Someone has a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. They miss you. They really miss you. They want to reconnect. Now, the Page of Wands. Let's see what's going on with that. The world. Yeah, completing a cycle. This one wants to, This person wants to come back in. Ending something to start something new. This person is definitely leaving something. They might relocate. They might be at a quite a distance. They might be from another country. Or, you know, they're far away from you. They're coming in. They're, um, they're kind of going to connect you with you somehow whether it's by email phone um a letter uh, other people they're going to try to reach out to you they want to reconnect ending for new beginnings here and the six of swords let's see what's going on with the six of swords the ten of swords yes this person is definitely ending something or they went through a very painful ending and they're coming back towards you Okay, so let's see about this Knight of Wands. Don Juan, Don Juan, that doesn't have to be. It could be just um, the energy of this card here. Um, let's see, career, fear, serious. Okay. And you know, um, so someone could be coming towards you too because of what you're doing in a career if you have changed to start your own business it could be they're coming towards you um that's not gonna be for everyone let's see here if um if we had a look at an age for this person come to you let's say between late 20s mid 30s or it could be someone later 50s, early 60s. You know, it'd be different for everyone. Um, but that's what I'm getting. You also, we could, if we're looking at timing too, we could also say maybe you haven't seen them in one to seven years. Okay. Let um tell me what else you have here for Pisces. Let me do one whole roll, which is more than I'll just do this. We have here the sun, Leo energy. There's happiness coming in for you. There's passion coming in for you. There's there's clarity coming in for you. And it could be with this King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Very strong fire sign coming towards you. And we have here the Seven of Swords. They might have held back here coming towards you. They weren't coming in right away. Now they might be coming towards you. Or it might be something you're not sure about here. If you want this connection. Let me get a charm on this. King of Wands. We have here a horse. They're coming quick though. Very fast energy. Moving in quick. Oh, wrong card. <sighs> These readings, I don't know, they've been very intense. They've been knocking me for a loop. It seems like every time I do one of these lately it might be just the energy coming in i have to take a nap <laughs> so it's like they're taking longer do <laughs> let's say about the sun we have here the two of cups yeah someone wants a partnership with you a love connection a soulmate connection now this king of wands here come in and quick we have here 
the king of pentacles this could person could be financially well off or you do have the two of cups you could have two people coming in maybe you're you're not sure what to trust here let me get a um the knight uh, the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn we do have here okay yeah this person is coming in very slow very very slow we have a snail you might even wait for this person they're coming in slowly but they also could have been focusing on their finances too this person is doing quite well off it could be the same person here but you, you look at the difference how we have very fast movement and very slow movements so i would say it's two different people okay what about the seven of swords the nine of swords yes someone is definitely someone might did you wrong might have lied to you, cheated on you, or or did something here. Now they're in their head. They're worried. They have a lot of anxiety. They're not sleeping at night. Maybe that could be. Maybe that could be this King of Pentacles. Because, you know, if you coming in slow, it might be very unsure about whether or not they can um, offer you anything that you'll accept from them. Okay, let's see about the King of Wands. We have here feelings, change, meeting. Ooh. Okay, so the King of Wands, their feelings have changed and they want a meeting. What about this King of Pentacles? Confused. Very soon. Desire. Ooh, so their confusion is very soon going to turn into desire. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Okay, let's see here. What else do we have for Pisces? What else is coming in for Pisces? This is exciting. We have here Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Two of Wands. Definitely at a crossroads of what to do. And we have the Seven of Wands. You know, I almost feel like you're fighting people off. You, I, I would say you're the Queen of Wands here. In this energy because um i'm not gender does not matter it's just the energy of the cards i feel like you're getting you're very desirable whether this is in business and in love or in both the, and now you have to fight people off so you're you're at a crossroads of who you want and what you want to do look at this what you don't see coming is will fortune divine timing destiny thing changes in the air look what's happening beautiful okay so now let me get a charm on this queen of wands Okay, yeah, you're going to be going on a trip or going somewhere with someone, having some fun, going out or doing something. Two here. Two two people going out together. Okay, let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? We have here the Emperor. Ooh, the Emperor's coming in for you. Okay. Or this could be you in charge, too. <clears throat> This could be that you're in charge or in leadership. You have a very good position here. Or this could be someone coming in trying to take control here. Um, Aries energy. Let's see about the two of wands. We have here the queen of swords. Ooh. Hmm. Now, you can look at this different ways here. We could have, are you with the emperor trying to decide between the queen of wands and queen of swords? But the, I don't know. I definitely think you're the queen of wands, though. <clears throat> because all these cards are saying, like, you're getting a lot of attention. There's, um, the queen of wands does get a lot of attention. It's like, it's, I can do it attitude. It's like, um, a way shower of someone that is, um, very creative. Now we have the queen of swords. This could be also your energy. I'm um, saying, okay. Maybe do I show someone my passion, my desires, or do I wait? Do I, you know, almost, you know what, almost seems like you might be showing the King of Wands, your Queen of Wands, and you might be showing this King of Pentacles, your Queen of Swords. <laughs> it's like you might be wearing different masks for different people, just like they are with you. So, um, with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords demands the truth. The Queen of Swords is very intelligent. The Queen of Swords is not putting up with anything here. Why do I feel like you might have an energy here with this King of Wands where it's all about passion and desire? 
you know, there's a very strong chemistry. And maybe that's what the connection was, more about the chemistry than anything else. But I think with the King of Pentacles here, I don't know what they did. But there is like a, a even stronger connection, but they have to go, do things right by you. This is a totally different thing here. Totally different energy. That's why I'm feeling like there's two different people. And so you might be ready to fight fight for yourself here. Fight for what you believe in. And it's like, um, you know, you don't come to me correctly. That's it. Get back. Okay. Oh, a wreath. So there's going to be a victory here. There's some kind of victory. There's also going to be something coming back around. A circle here. You know, something circling back around. Okay, let me clarify this. Seven of Wands. And we have here the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, you're going to fight for your worth of who you're going to partner up with. You know, you're not going to partner up with anybody, whether that's business or love. We have the bottom, what you don't see coming here is a Two of Pentacles. So there's divine timing, destiny, wheel of fortune, things shifting. You have a choice here with the Two of Pentacles. That's what's coming in that you don't see yet. You might be juggling two for a while. It almost feels like that energy until you did make up your mind here. You don't know what to do. You might be saying, okay, let me check them both out and see which is a better fit for me. You know, go on a couple dates here and there. I'm not saying, like, you know, it's not, they're coming up at the same time. And, you know, you start, maybe you start a relationship because this King of Wands comes in very fast. And you start considering them. And then this other person gets wind of it. Oh, slow poke here and decides to come in and then that's where the confusion comes in it's like oh well yeah sure you know what rain supports right let me get the word on this queen of wands gift they're coming in with a gift contact honest denying wow okay they might be honest about maybe i think they're coming in with a gift for you and they might be making contact and they're going to be honest about denying this connection or how they how strong they felt this connection is now you can always rearrange the words that make more sense to you i just looked at the time it was 22 22 Ooh, double master number let's see what about this um queen of swords just two memories apology okay this is what you want there's memories with this person here and you want to them to apologize you they need to apologize and i think they will all right guys so this might resonate with you might not but let's see we're going to go on to what signs you could be dealing with this could be placement your chart payment other people's chart past present and future we have here scorpio like how in the beginning here most of this energy is all yours and then then we have people coming in and once you once you get yourself in place here it seems like Scorpio Capricorn Cancer Cancer Libra and Capricorn okay again placement your chart placement other people chart past present and future we have Scorpio Capricorn Cancer Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Okay, now for the letters. We're going to do letters, 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for a first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have D, Y, B, J, I, G, H, P, R, J, Y. Okay, so letters we have for you today are D, Y, B, J, I, G, H, P, R, J, Y. Why is this so crooked? <laughs> okay, now for the names. Get 11 or more names for you guys. What are the names that like that? Okay. 
Okay, so we have here Neil. Cat with a K. Gaya Theory. G-A-Y-A-T-H-I-R-I. -I. And Bessie. Karen. Johan. Genevia. I'm sorry, I know I botched you that name. I'm so sorry. J-E-N-N-I-E-V-A. Um, Tamara. T-A-M-A-R-A. -A -A. Andrew. Tammy with a Y. Let's see. Three, six, nine. Oh, I'm just missing one. One more. We have here Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N. Okay, there's 11. All right, guys, now remember these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, you can always check out your other signs. If you checked out your sun, then check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. It might give you um, a clearer picture of... Um, Missing information. I'm getting the whole different things that I normally say here. Also, the missing piece of the puzzle. Something might click together. Uh, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and your super thanks. I appreciate it all. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.